snakehead leader. We'll show you some of the different knots and then we're going to break it to see what it actually breaks at. So we strengthen that loop up a little bit. So I start off a 90 pound butt section. Five feet long. One end I put a perfection loop. 50 pound something or other. A mini twist. So the first time I learnt this was from a guy called Gordy Hill, who some of you might will know. Uh, but it was whew, in one ear and out the other. And then John O'Shell showed it to me and he tied one one end of the leader and one the other end of the leader and we broke it and it broke in the main line and that sort of made it sink in a little bit. So the first thing you do is you get quite a long tag end and you do 24 turns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Hook it over your toe. If you were to pull this at a sharp angle, you're going to deform this part of the line here. So you don't pull this. You just put your thumb here and you grip it. You can hold the line here and pull the pressure. And then you're going to put your finger in here and you're going to pull this tight. And then this here, you let go, keeping this tight now. And this will just feed over this. And as you pull up, this will just feed more, more, more. And you put a half hitch on one, a half hitch on the other. It's actually done. Now we're just going to lock it. There's a few different ways of locking it. I do this, this is some sort of twist. One, two. About 18. About 18 again. 20 something. Oh, it didn't break. Oh, just over, I don't know what that was. That went over 20 in a way. Fly line again. So that was a very interesting set of, te set of tests. Um, didn't work out as I expected, but I'm using different monos and different materials. What actually happened the first time was very interesting. It was just this uh, new wire that I've been using cut through uh, the, the leader at about 17 pounds from what I remember. Um, that's a one-off. Uh, I'm going to have to repeat that experiment a few times but it's quite possible that, 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 that that's going to be a problem. Then we had one break the hook, that was also an old hook, that can happen, that's why you don't use old flies when you're fishing. And then I had two Slim Beauties break, which never had that happen, but that's, this is also, it could be because this 90 pound nylon which I've got here was from last year, it didn't seem to happen when I got to this point, so maybe it was just the last couple of feet were knackered, because when it gets wet or gets a lot of sunlight it gets, it, it, it gets weaker. So that's another possibility. And then we ended up with a fly line breaking. Um, that has never happened to me while playing these fish. It's usually, it should be this knot here that's going. And the fly line, we had that up to about 22, 23 pounds, which sounds very weak because I know that it should be about 35 pounds. But there you go, it's not. So we got something out of that. But um, it's also quite possible that this floating line that I'm using has a stronger core and I will actually ask 
to find out because that's not good enough. Lovely, lovely weather. Nice part of the lake. Wash day. <laughs> there. Nice, nice little fish, nice little tilapia. Go back, tell your other ones that that was fun. It's getting dark now. Well, it's not quite dark, getting dark, but it, here in the jungle it's probably got about 20 minutes of light. Like a light switch. I'm gonna throw a popper into this, see if we can pick up a jungle perch. See maybe maybe get a snake head out of this. Oh, it's not been very good I have to say at the moment. I think that rain has not helped matters. Ooh. Box. Perch another hard fighting fish I have to say. I believe I can't remember what the record is six kilos I think. Seven kilos, six and a half kilos. Huge fish. I've hooked some big ones, but I know that. Oops. Oh, you bastard. Yes. Oh. Come out of that. Oh, you bastard. Now for a little fish like that, go hard at four. This is a small jungle perch. Maybe a bad eat that. But anyway, there we go. Sabaro. I don't know why, but that was pretty hard work. Anyway, um, snakehead seems to be off at the moment. Probably all that rain that's come through. One tilapia. Not a bad size, I suppose. They get very they get probably get four or five kilos actually. Maybe a bit more. And uh, small jungle perch and then missed a few takes and lost one. Oh well. See what happens next week. Here at six weeks. Five minutes of fly fishing. <laughs>